Good morning. Um, it's Christmas Eve Eve. It's the day before Christmas Eve and I'm just gonna be excited. There's no point in being stressed or nervous or anxious at this point, so I'm just gonna be excited. Um, yay! It's Christmas Eve Eve! <laughs> I'm gonna do the advent calendar really quick um, because I have two appointments this morning and I need to leave in about five minutes. My video today is probably going to be a little late because I woke up a little late and I didn't get it uploading in time. So, advent calendar. Down to just the last two. I, I'm excited to see what this one is. But today we're on this one. The most alluring thing a woman can have is confidence. Beyonce. Ooh. That's pretty. Plie, please me. It's a really pretty silver metallic. That's cool. Okay, so tomorrow is going to be the full size one, and I know, I believe it's some kind of glitter, so stay tuned for that. And I need to do my chocolate one. I'm really behind on that, but I will do that this evening because I just don't feel like chocolate right now. I'm so tired. One thing I can talk about while I'm sitting here waiting for it to be time to go, and I've had a few comments from some of my lovely subscribers who also deal with fibromyalgia asking me how I plan on managing my fibro while on vacation in London. So there's a few of you who have asked that. And it's a really good question. One that I've only kind of thought about. <laughs> Not sure if that's good or bad. I thought I would just kind of answer it briefly here, but I will do a full length kind of fibro chat video when I get back after I can see if any part of my plan worked or not. I'll see if I can like come up with some good tips. As far as a plan, the only thing that I, I don't know that I have a, a very strategic plan. My plan right now is I'm bringing with me some Icy Hot and some Thermacare patches and wraps because I know that those things do help with my back. I've also got some Dr. Scholl's insoles for my shoes so that I can take care of my feet. I'm also going to bring some of the Dr. Schultz tissue oil, deep tissue oil that I talked about um, in my November favorites because that works as a topical pain reliever so that helps my knees and my hips. That helps out places that the Thermacare and the Icy Hot can't quite help. So those are kind of my pain relievers for at the end of the day. I'm also bringing some of the Sephora foot masks because those really help my feet as well at the end of a long day. In terms of prevention, I mean, I don't know that any of us can ever fully prevent a flare. Part of my strategy is to just push through a certain pain and fatigue and just probably have a bad flare that I'm dealing with by the time I get home. I don't know that that's the best strategy, so we'll see if I can figure out something else while I'm there. It's kind of a take it day by day and see what happens. But also as far as prevention and just taking care of myself, the way that my mom and I have done this trip in the past, this will be our third time going together. My sister's joining us, but she also is, she's more like us. She's not going to be a road warrior wanting to be out there doing and seeing everything. So this is my seventh trip in the last six years. So I've seen and done a lot of London. Uh, the, the point of this trip is not to go on a tourist crazy trip and trying to do and see as many things as possible. Um, I just want to be in London. I want to go shopping. I want to visit a few of my favorite museums. There's some new exhibitions on at the V&A and I think at the, mu at the Barbican that I would like to see. So there's stuff that I want to do, but not, not so much that every day is going to be jam-packed. Typically with this trip, what we, what my mom and I have just done in the past and what works really well for us is we plan one thing each day that's kind of a big thing. So uh, going to a museum, going to somewhere like the Tower of London, um, so a big touristy thing. And then the rest of the time is spent 
sitting in a coffee shop, doing a little bit of shopping, sitting in another coffee shop. You know, we kind of plan it so that we get breaks and we get to sit down and relax, which I think is a good way to do any trip. I never recommend the, you know, non-stop try to do and see everything possible in, you know, only five days kind of a thing. So that's kind of just roughly what my plan is. If I'm really not doing well and I need a break, they might go off and do stuff without me and that's totally fine. But yeah, that's it's it's a good question and one that I've kind of been thinking about but just not, you know, consciously articulating. So I will definitely keep you guys posted. Um, I'm sure things will come up in the vlogs as I'm traveling um, and I will definitely do a video after I get back kind of with my whole experience of traveling while dealing with fibro. Yay! And with that, I need to get going. It's time to go to my appointment. I don't think my video's uploaded yet, so that will probably have to get done when I get back. Okay, I'm done at my first appointment, and now I am going in for a facial. One last one before I travel. We're going to try to do some preventative stuff just so that my skin doesn't completely freak out on the plane and all that stuff. I stopped and got a, a small... Uh, coffee. I didn't want to get a huge one since I'm about to go in for my facial, but I needed something. <laughs> yeah, I did not get to get the video pushed up, so if, if it was late for you yesterday when you're watching this one, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I think I'm going to go straight to get my oil changed after this so that I can just go home and relax. So it's it's going to go up a bit late. Sorry it was late yesterday today, yeah, you know what I'm saying. It is also very gray today. The sun is there, trying, not succeeding. But yeah, very gray, very cloudy. This is Arizona's equivalent of a white Christmas. This is as close as we get. Okay, done with my facial. My skin feels so good. Got my brows cleaned up and tinted. Um, and I picked up a little something, a little gift for myself. So I will show you that when I get home. Um, so I am going to go try to get my oil changed in my car really quick. Hopefully there's not too much of a line there. Okay, so oil change is done. It's now like 1.30 and I'm still not home. The video is still not live, but the clouds are really cool over the mountain at the moment. They're really low, which this only happens like maybe three times a year tops. It doesn't happen very often. So I thought I would drive out to the park and show you guys. I'm just gonna walk around the parking lot a little bit because I really need to get home, <laughs> but it's it's too pretty to miss, I think.
right, I'm home. I hope you guys liked the bit of desert footage. That was fun to do. Like I said, it rarely does that with the clouds so low that it's covering the tops of the mountain. And then it was really cool because there's a there's a little peak in among the mountains called Tom's Thumb. And when I first got there, it was completely covered by the clouds and then it kind of started to come out. So I included some really zoomed in footage. So hopefully he were able to see that. Hopefully I made it work. Anyway, I thought I'd show you what I got from uh, my esthetician, some new Eminence products. And then I checked my mail, finally, and I got a couple Christmas cards. So I thought I'd open those up. So yeah, so from Eminence, I don't know if this is strictly a Christmas holiday set or if they do this all year round, but it's the Oils and Serum Signature Series Discovery Set. So it's got five of their top oils and serums. It's got the Rose Hip Triple C Plus E Firming Oil, the Citrus and Kale Potency Plus E Serum, the Facial Recovery Oil, the Stone Crop Serum, and the Strawberry Rhubarb Hyaluronic, I think that's how you pronounce it, serum. <laughs> So they're all mini sizes, but some of these I've really been wanting to try, but I didn't want to buy a full-size bottle, so I can kind of test them out and see how I like them. They're really decent sizes for a sample set, considering you only need to apply two or three drops <laughs> at a time of most of these, and it's going to last me quite a bit. So I'm really excited. Okay, Christmas card time! This is so much fun. Um, so I got one from my friend in London, my friend Alicia, who I'm really looking forward to seeing. So, oh, Christmas wishes. Cute card. She always signs it also from Sheba, the cat, which makes me so happy. It's love from all, all of the humans in the household as well as the cat in the household. And then I think this one must be from Marie because it's the only one I know in Hawaii, so, because my cousins moved back to Washington State. Marie is so nice to me. Um, yeah, so it is from Marie. Beautiful card. And then she also included, she's included some powder. I'm going to have some, which I'm assuming is some kind of clay. And then instructions to mix one teaspoon with water, honey, or yogurt. That is very exciting. Thank you, Marie. That's super, super sweet of you. I have been terrible with Christmas cards. I will try to send some, maybe, is there a holiday at the end of January? <laughs> December just completely ran away from me. I totally meant to send Christmas cards to people. Okay, so it is two o'clock, a little bit after. I have less than three hours before I have to go back out to meet my friend Karen for dinner. So I'm going to relax a bit. There's so much work I need to do, but I think I need to rest for at least an hour. I need to get myself a bit cleaned up. So yeah, I'm going to go rest. I'm going to shut up and go rest because I'm not making a whole lot of sense at this point, I feel. about um, in my November favorites. Okay, it's time to end the vlog. <laughs> uh, it's nearly 10.30. I have been doing lots of kind of housework. Loaded the dishwasher, I washed the pans and baking sheets that I've been dirtying up lately. I've been doing all the laundry. The last load is now in the dryer and everything that needs to be line dried or hung up to dry is 
now laying flat or hung up um, so I can start packing actually packing the bags tomorrow I had a great dinner it was really nice to hang out with Karen and then yeah I was just watching Deathly Hallows part one while I was editing earlier and doing all the housework just one more to the Harry Potter marathon so I will watch that tomorrow night assuming I'm home from my parents house in time we'll see I probably won't stay there too late tomorrow but I say that now and yeah but I can't stay too late or I won't be able to get back there very early um, on Christmas morning I would stay the night but I just I have to come home and do some packing or I will not be ready so I'm gonna shut up before I make this vlog too long and I will see you all tomorrow for Christmas Eve which is weird because by the time you watch it it'll be Christmas Day or possibly later you might not watch YouTube on Christmas Day so yeah if it's Christmas so some of you might watch this tomorrow on Christmas Eve so Merry Christmas <laughs> Just in case you don't watch the Christmas Eve vlog until after Christmas Day, Merry Christmas. I will explain in a future video, either as part of tomorrow for the end of Vlogmas or a separate video, I'll explain how London and those vlogs are going to work later. I'm not going to take the time to do it now, um, but stay posted for that. Also, follow me on Twitter, Instagram. All the links are down below snapchat because I will be updating those over the next couple weeks during all my travels so updates will likely be on those platforms first so yeah I hope you enjoyed this vlog if you did please give it a thumbs up like comment subscribe all that good stuff thank you for watching thank you for supporting vlogmas so far you guys have been leaving some of the sweetest kindest most wonderful comments and I am so grateful to have subscribers like you. Merry Christmas, and I will see you all soon. There will be a vlog tomorrow from when this vlog goes up, because I will be vlogging Christmas Eve. But yeah, it just occurred to me that the Christmas Eve vlog will go up on Christmas Day, and some of you might not watch YouTube on Christmas Day. So yeah, I'm going to shut up, because I'm, I'm not being coherent at this point. So I will just see you guys later. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.